Welcome to the Industrial Talk Podcast with Scott McKenzie. Scott is a passionate industry professional dedicated to transferring cutting-edge, industry-focused innovations and trends while highlighting the men and women who keep the world moving. So put on your hard hat, grab your work boots, and let's go. Hi there. Once again, thank you very much for joining Industrial Talk, and thank you very much for your continued support of an ecosystem that is continuously expanding with industrial professionals all focused on education, collaborating, and of course, innovation. In the hot seat, we were broadcasting from IoT Solutions World Congress. We have two gents, Nino and Pedro. Emi2 is the company, and we're talking about how we can simplify, make it more approachable, this digital transformation, and I think they've got a great solution. Let's get cracking with the conversation. Yep. You can never go wrong uh, with uh, broadcasting from IoT Solutions World Congress. By the way, you need to put that on your calendar for 2024. Yeah, put it on your calendar. It will not disappoint. And you will meet people like Pedro, Nino, and uh, they want to be able to have this conversation about how we can simplify uh, this digital transformation, IIoT, so on and so forth. All right. Because this platform, this ecosystem is all dedicated and why we get uh, these contributors, uh, they're just really passionate about how you and others and companies, it's imperative that we continue to be, uh, have a spirit of education when it comes to industry because you just got to keep on educating and learning and because it is one of the things that I've come to realize is there's this speed that changes all the time. Change is happening in industry, and you need to be a part of it. It's going to happen, or you're going to be left behind real quick. Now, what makes Me Too so special is the fact that they recognize that. They recognize the fact that, one, it's happening. Two, how do we make it more approachable and simplify the process? And instead of just having these deployments that take forever and they're all custom they've come up with a solution that is it makes it sort it makes it more i mean approachable from a from the perspective that they this doesn't have to be customized all the time what can we take and and leverage for additional implementations they're passionate about what they're that they're, they're delivering at eme2 yeah so anyway again Educate, collaborate, and innovate. That is, the, the, those are the salient points. But again, got to go out to Industrial Talk, find out more, connect with these two gents, as well as all of the other incredible contributors that uh, have found time in their schedule. And if, if you want, if you want to be on the podcast, you just got to let me know, industrialtalk.com. All right, let's get cracking with the conversation. Here is both Nino and Pedro at IoT Solutions World Congress. Enjoy. Two gentlemen, Pedro and Nuno, and they are with Imitu. Did I get that right? Come on. Come yeah. on. <laughs> Did I? Crazy. All right. Now, you guys just, you guys seeked me out. You guys are here and you're walking around. Are you guys having a good conference? I mean, are you enjoying what you're you're seeing here? Yes, definitely. Yeah, see, it's a it's a good time, and I and I do like the fact that. Uh, well, I haven't seen many of these people for two plus years, so now I get to see them, and many of the people that I was uh, get to know, I've just got to know them virtually. Look at look at what's your name? What's what's your name? So, yeah. so, so she's video. She's looking at her. And she's saying, look at you. <laughs> See, anyway, yeah, no, you, you can't. It's, it's going good. She's yelling at me now. She's yelling at me. <laughs> listeners. I deserve it. Absolutely. All right. Let's go. Let's get a little uh, background on who uh, you both are, and then, of course, the company, and then see where we're going with that. We're going to start with you, Pedro. Give us a little background on where you come from. Well, what we, you do. Uh, so, my name is Pedro. Uh, I come from Porto, from Portugal. Yeah. Uh, I, I want to go there. Yeah, you, you should. should. <laughs> you should. <laughs> Thank you very much. No, you should go there <laughs> several times. <laughs> there you go, man. All right. <laughs> keep, on, keep on going there. So, I'm the head of sales uh, from Ebito. 
And uh, I think I'm doing a good job. <laughs> <laughs> because you're, you're sitting next to the founder and co-founder, CEO, and, and head it's cheese the right there. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, well, we are visiting uh, the, the conference. Um, and we're enjoying it a lot. Uh, it's the first day. Um, we can see that um, uh, the, the last edition was a little bit more uh, busy, let's say. But, yeah. Uh, but, but that has been fun till now. Uh, I'm enjoying it a lot. There you go, man. All right. You're up, uh, Nuno. Did I say that, Nuno, right? Did no, I get no. The... No, no, no. It's a typical uh, Portuguese name. I'm from uh, Porto, SMS Pedro. And... Um, well, I've been uh, dealing with IoT for some uh, some years now. Visit this uh, IoT Solutions World Congress for a few times. We stopped due to this horrible, horrible, um, horrible pandemic, and now we are uh, getting back on track. Uh, I, I see the dynamic of the IoT ecosystem now um, uh, kicking in, and uh, hopefully that uh, next year's edition will be more. Uh, Coming get to pre-pandemic like oh, I'll tell you, yeah. if if you are not engaged, if you're a business, if you're a professional, if you're if you're not seeking uh, solutions of how you can participate in this digital transformation world, you're going to be left behind because your company and others are just rolling down this track. So, speaking of your company, you need to yes. Um, first, I have to ask a question: Is there a meaning behind? me too uh no no basically <laughs> the url was available <laughs> yeah that's <laughs> <when we are. laughs> this is great man i'm just telling you it's, yeah it's like okay so scott as a as a startup you find the url available and, you, <laughs> and that's the name of your startup <laughs> it's particularly true. with a dot com <laughs> it is exactly <laughs> the domain I, the, I i truly believe there are no other uh, dot coms available have you yeah, ever just like it's like it's impossible yeah it's nowadays it's very hard to find a, a, a free dot uh, com. See, and the, <laughs> the other thing <laughs> is that because of that, technology companies start to merge names together and then they like to squeeze it together. Hey, look at that. That URL is available, but nobody can read it or spell the name. What the heck? That's domain hacking. You, you, you change a letter or something that is similar and you do some domain hacking and you find that you domain. <laughs> and it's it's also a marketing stand as well. <laughs> it is. So give us a little background on what the company uh, does. So we started ME2 uh, with aim of simplifying IoT because um, we did some work with uh, in consultation and uh, in deploying and implementing IoT. And we had some many, we have a lot of difficulties trying to um, use the effort or to use the code that we yeah. uh, uh, developed for some customer to use it on another customer that which was similar, but we had almost starting from scratch. So we decided to build a platform that we could uh, reuse um, uh -huh. or, or let's say re uh, reuse the, this code or the effort that we did for a customer and reuse it for the next customer and do it in a way that we just you in a click of a mouse, uh, you would uh, clone, let's say, uh, a container of information. That's what we call it, our template. That is a, like a container that um, has all the, the configuration and logic for a customer. And we can clone it as easily as one, two, three. And uh, then uh, we reuse and uh, we reuse the code. And this way, we reduce the time and effort to deploy a custom uh, IoT solution. I see, and I, I think that uh, what is a, a, a wonderful conversation happening here and, and with many is this drive for simplicity, right? Yeah. It's great to, to have all these wonderful solutions out here, but I can tell you right now, if it's, if it's complicated, if it's got a lot of friction to it, yeah. I, I'm not going to use it. So I think from your perspective and others, you're going to have to um, be able to make it simple, right? Yeah. To get people to embrace it, which is really important, right? 
and you you can have like simpler and uh, simple IoT, uh, robust, and uh, that's typically is a characteristic used with, in industrial manufacturing, for instance. In industrial, those systems need to be robust. They need to work in every type of environment, in every with every type of user, and you don't need to have like those complex systems. Uh, that are uh, as a steep learning curve that someone needs to learn for several months before uh, uh, operate the, the system. You can have it uh, simple and uh, but robust. You don't See, need and, to compromise that. And, and Pedro, being the head of sales, are you finding companies there's an interest in a IoT solution, but is there a resistance to truly going in or can you just sort of approach a project approach a client and say we don't have to look at it this way we can just look at it from a small perspective and then be able to create a, a solution around that and then be able to scale you finding that with clients well i find that with the clients yep. but because you know it's it's not um an easy path it isn't uh, it takes time it does for them to understand Imagine even with the countries or targets that uh, that are not uh, early adopter, let's say. Um, so it takes even more time with people that doesn't understand how is this digital transformation, and why they need that, or you know, pass this message to as a, a imagine imagine that I'm trying to communicate our vision, okay, yeah, about how it works, what we can achieve together. Uh, Passing this message is even more difficult for an audience that uh, doesn't understand that. So I find a lot of resistance. Uh, but at the same time, I find a lot of uh, people that has already some knowledge. So See, it's interesting. You're, you're saying exactly what um, many are feeling. It's, not, it's, it's like it's a, it's a global challenge. You, you, we've yeah. got to educate so much. And, 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 and for me, you know, if I was a manufacturer or something like that, the last thing I want is a failing project or another headache that I got to sort of address. And, and I've got to see tangible uh, value from this. And I don't want to go through a implementation that's going to take, well, everybody says 18 months. It's yeah. like, no, I don't want that. I don't want that. Do you agree? Yeah. Yeah, sure. If you don't make the life uh, simpler of the, the people, the project managers or the people involved in, in on the customer side to implement IoT, the decision, not decision makers, but people that will have to manage the project till the um, from the first uh, meeting with the provider till the project being implemented and, and completely functional on their side. If you don't make the life of those people easier, they will no no that's a yeah that's a wall or a speed bump in any progress they're going to slow you down and it's not going to be good and that's not only the implementation phase after the implementing the, the iot project but also when you one year down the road or six months down the road and you need to make changes on the project because you learned uh, and you need to extract more value from the solution and you ask changes to the provider to do some minor changes or do some upgrades to the system or scale and then you will face in even more entropy on the on the provider and that's it's make you that doesn't make the life of those people easier you see the, the thing about what you guys do and, and yes it's it's i look at it from the 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 client's perspective yeah it, it can be difficult but the reality is if i don't proceed forward if i don't go down that digital road, that, that solution, my competition will. And eventually, there will be a point in time when that competition will be more efficient, more insightful, more responsive. All of the stuff that, as a business, you want to make sure that you, you got to be there. Sure. So no matter how much pain. That's, yeah, that's why uh, uh, companies need to manage or to, need to be aware that that, that pain needs to be, um, they need to face that pain. But also providers like us, they need to make the process simpler. 
That's why yeah. this is a, a, I would say that uh, is a, a process on both sides of the equation. On the customer side, they need to do that, make that um, path forward, mm -hmm. if you will, uh, because that's necessary, because otherwise they will be left behind in terms of their uh, competition. Also, the providers need to use more innovation, use more technology, and make, uh, and basically, is what you have seen with uh, on the consumer side. If you see on the consumer side, you everything is um, uh, implemented or made easy, because you should, with a few clicks, you can have everything on your hands. Yeah. So it's a beautiful thing, and, and I, I wholeheartedly support that. And um, one of the areas that I find is uh, interesting conversation is in the area of trust, right? And without a doubt, there are many companies out there, they, they say, hey, we do IoT. Well, IoT, as we all know, it consists of, it's like the... It's like a big folder of things, right? It's everything just fits everything fits into the IoT folder, right? And so it's imperative that companies find trusted professionals that can help you with that journey. And I'm also a big fan of this incremental approach, right? Where, okay, I trust you guys. However, I want to take a little step forward, create a win, and then I can sort of scale it from there, expand it out. I think that that's uh, great. Okay, we're going to have to wrap it up, sadly, because I'm enjoying this conversation. So listeners out there saying, hey, Scott, how do I get a hold of these two fine individuals? Where do they go to find uh, contact information for you guys? So uh, anyone that is interested in our solutions can visit us at uh, emitu.com. So E-M-I-E-T-U.com. That's right. E-M-I-T-U. Go there. And I guarantee you that's your first start. Trusted professionals. That's what we need within the IoT world. And of course, again, IoT is incredibly big. So you need to get involved. Find those individuals. Guys, thank you very much. Thank this, you for everything. That was fun. Yeah. You guys, are, you've been very patient in walking around. Uh, we've had a, a number of uh, great conversations. All right. Listeners, we're going to wrap it up, of course. You're going to find all the contact information out on industrialtalk.com. So if you want to get a hold of these two fine individuals, the company Emitu, Emitu, E-M-I-T-U, do so. It's easy to get a hold of them. All right. Thank you guys for being on. Thank you. As a hard All right, listeners, we're going to have another great conversation from the IoT Solutions World Congress. So do not go away. We will be right back. You're listening to the Industrial Talk Podcast Network. All right, once again, that's uh, uh, Nuno, because I mispronounced it in the beginning. Nuno and Pedro, Emitu is the company, uh, a must. Must connect uh, with those gents. Uh, uh, you know, I really enjoy uh, their passion as well as their, their value proposition of uh, making this digital transformation as painless as possible and simple, easy, removing the friction. That's their focus, man. It, it, it's, it's a must. And I think that that's a, that's a noble, noble cause because you need to be a part of this whole digital transformation in some way, shape, or form. Incrementally, get into it, whatever it might be. All right, we're building an ecosystem, a platform that is dedicated to industrial professionals such as yourself. You need to be engaged. Go out to Industrial Talk and say, Scott, I want to be engaged. Now let's have a conversation. Let's tell your story because we are all a part of this. You know, we are industry. We are people, right? And it's a collection of people. Be bold, be brave. Dare greatly. Hang out with Nuno and Pedro and you will change the world. We're going to have another great conversation shortly.